Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with yet another Bloodborne Chalice Dungeon Expansion Miniature and this is the Fluorescent Flower. It's primed in Wraith Bone from Citadel Paint because I'm going to be using some contrast colors, not many but a couple. And we're starting off with Apothecary White. Uh, this is going to give uh, the tentacles or whatever is coming out of this like this bluish gray effect which is kind of funny because it's white. But when you put the white on white, it gives grayish color, like almost like a light, 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 light blue. And uh, I, I wanted this to like pop a little bit more and I will do some dry brushing over them later on. And also I am doing another Bloodborne because I want to finish the Chalice Dungeon expansion actually. I want to finish painting these guys off. And uh, I will move on to other projects after that, so keep uh, staying tuned for more videos. Next contrast color we're going to be using is Volopus Pink and we're going to be using this for this mouth thing that it has on the front. And yes, I'm getting all the teeth and all that, but we will come back and fix that after. Alright, we're starting with an undead unique color, which is Wraith Black. Uh, and of course as you can see it is not black it's more like a very dark blue and no matter how much you shake this thing it almost acts like a contrast paint it is it's thick when it comes out but it acts very um, thin so if you wanted to you could put a second coat on here but it would make it a little too dark in my opinion this is actually what I wanted as an effect I was actually debating using a contrast paint on this part of the miniature uh, but I didn't know if I had a blue like this and I think I do but I'm not 100% sure and I didn't want to wreck it. Now in the box there are two of these guys but I'm just painting one on screen and I was painting the other one off screen. So there are certain tentacles that have this blue as well because in the artwork it's darker at some points. Uh, it's pretty awkward to get to certain areas of this miniature so take your time with it and uh, make sure that you don't get any on the other spots but if you do it's not the end of the world. I mean these are not master class miniatures in my opinion. They're just there for the table and having fun. Now moving on we're going to be using a skin tone which is amber skin and this is from the new paint set from the Army Painter. Now he has these tarantula crab like legs and I saw this amber skin I was like wow this is the color I wanted. I've been wanting this kind of color for like legs or skin or whatever and again the coverage from this paint is amazing. So if you don't have the Army Painter skin tone set this is a must-have. It is great. Now we're doing a quick dry brush of skeleton bone just over the teeth and we're barely touching it just to get the highlights. And now we're doing another dry brush, but this time it's uh, Ethereal Spectre. It's a light, light, light purple and I wanted that to be underneath or on top of the blue. And then it's all, I'm also hitting some of the little places where I put the um, contrast paint as well. And then I do a dry brush with a bigger dry brush of cold flesh and I just go slightly over the same spots again. As you can see it gives a nice highlight. Now we're using this strong skin wash which comes also from the Army Painter skin tone paint set. And again this one was amazing. Now this gives the effect I wanted. Uh, it gets in the recesses really nice. It darkens that amber skin to a little bit more than I wanted so I could have went with a soft one. But I'm testing these new paints so I'm able to see what they do. And again, uh, it's much better than the flesh wash. I like this a lot more. It doesn't smear the paint, even though it's dry. Sometimes it would smear paint or rip, remove it. I don't know if I was doing something wrong. Now we're going to use some dark tone, which is just your regular wash. Uh, you could use none oil as well if you wanted to, or any other kind of dark wash. But this is going to go on the rest of the miniature, except for where I use, of course, the white contrast. As you can see, the blue and the purple dry brush that I put actually comes out a little bit more as well as a highlight. So. Some people like to do the dry brushing after the wash. I like to do it beforehand because I actually see the light and shade come out as an effect. Now we're doing the entire base with matte black. I didn't want to do any special effects on this because I really wanted this miniature to pop and show more of its details than the base itself. Uh, it was a little hard to get in all underneath all the legs and not touch them with paint, but in the end we get it done and it ends up looking great. And like I said, there was two of these in the set. It took quite a while to paint these. It was actually quite a long process and I shortened it down for you guys. There you go. He's all painted, ready to hit the table. So again, this is from the Chalice Dungeon expansion. You won't get this in the base game. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next one.